What is self-incrimination? Self-incrimination is where you make a statement, um, in, also known as an in, inculpatory statement, where you say something that has the effect of um, make, helping the state make their case against you. It's an admission of it's a guilt or wrongdoing by you. That's uh, effectively what uh, self-incrimination is, where you say something that is later used against you in a prosecution against you in the courts. What do you mean by self-incrimination? Self-incrimination is where you say something that uh, can later be used against you uh, to ground the prosecution against you. So um, whenever the police are, are, are about to interview someone, they should always warn them that what they say could be used against them later in criminal proceedings. That warning should be given. And that's a constitutionally recognized warning. It's the Miranda warning from 1966. You should tell them in advance that whatever they, ne they say next in answer to the question that's been put to them could be used against them in criminal procedures, proceedings rather, down the line. Why is protection against self-incrimination important? It's important because the, the government can't uh, make you testify against yourself. Um, you're not obliged to help the state make their case against you. They have to make the case against you. You shouldn't have to assist them in, in helping to prosecute you. That would be perverse. So it's there to protect uh, people in society against the overwhelming power of the state because the state in its totality is enormously powerful. And when the state moves against you, uh, you are just one individual. And you as an individual cannot withstand the pressure of the state coming down on top of you. So that rule is there to protect you against the um, illegal use of state power, and it exists in every democracy. What is the rule against self-incrimination? The rule against self-incrimination pretty much states that you cannot be forced to uh, uh, give evidence against yourself or to um, incriminate yourself. And that rule dates back to, to the 1600s uh, when the uh, Puritan religious sect, which had pretty much started in, the, in England, were evicted or kicked out of England. They went to Holland, which at that time was a very liberal country and still is. But they eventually got kicked out of Holland too because they were trying to uh, proselytize uh, to people there and they went across to America. But when they were in England, they were being tortured and forced to confess to certain things. And because they wouldn't confess voluntarily, they were, they were tortured until they did. Uh, and so that rule against self-incrimination originates back in that time. And it's been maintained in countries right around the world ever since.